I'm Kate Edwards and I'm a geographer and a game industry advocate. So we are at PAX West in Seattle and PAX West is essentially a huge love fest for video games that goes on for four days. So to become a game creator, it's not just enough to be good at playing games or to love games, but you have to have that intense interest in using the medium for your self-expression. One of the concerns I have concerning women and girls who are interested in being game developers is that they often look at the landscape of who's making games now and they don't see a lot of people who look like themselves. So one of the things that's really essential to build that bridge is having organizations like Girls Who Code who do the outreach to show them that this is something that they're fully capable of doing. We as an industry, I think we all have an innate desire for the most part to see that those who create games better reflect those who play them. From my perspective, the Deep Lens is essentially a world building assistant for game developers. Every person who exists has a worldview that is specific to their cultural context, and I think games are especially suited to be a medium in which worldviews can be mixed, they can be shared. They're just basically a, a place where empathy between those worldviews can be fostered, and game developers can leverage the Deep Lens to better teach the AI how we see the world. So, my hope from the Deep Blend's game challenge is to see developers have a better understanding of how AI and machine learning can really enable the game design process. It's no different from any art form. It's like if someone wants to be a painter, they paint. If they want to be a writer, they write. If you want to be a game developer, you make games.